I think I love you. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I think I, I love you. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, wh what do I say back? You can say, I love you too. <laughs> well, you didn't say I love you. You said, I think I love you. And, and you want me to just straight up say I love you back? You don't have to do anything. <laughs> you are trapping me. I'm not trapping you. I'm expressing my feelings. With a qualification. Michael, I'm just saying that I think... <laughs> you think. You oh, think. What again. do you want me to say? You don't have to say anything. I, I don't want you to say something that you are not ready to say. But I do want to say it. Okay. I love you, Kenzie. <sighs> I love you too. Michael. Hello, sunflower. Hey. You know what I want? What? A landscape fridge. I don't know what that is. I just invented it. You know refrigerators? They are tall and narrow, so there's this bottom shelf of stuff that you have to bend down to and pick through to see what's there, and so you never do. It's horrible. Chilling. Ha! But imagine a fridge, same size overall, but countertop height, laid out horizontally, everything is accessible right there. No bending down. <laughs> you nerd. It makes sense though, right? Yeah, but where the hell are you going to put it? It's not going to fit in our kitchen. Hey, this is our dream kitchen. Oh, well, you know what I want? What? A dream house to go with this supposed dream kitchen of yours. <laughs> well, duh. No, but you know what I've always really wanted? Hmm. A grandfather clock. Yeah, but those things are loud. I mean, they're totally impractical for a place in the city. Yeah, but I always pictured settling down somewhere outside of the city. Oh, really? On a few acres near some woods, quiet and out of the way, where it snows in the winter, but not too much. Uh-huh. A big tree in the yard. <laughs> Wait, okay, can you, can you throw in a few more cliches there? Like maybe a picket fence and a dog and a cat? Oh, maybe, maybe two and a half kids? Hey, this is a dream house, remember? I know, I know. But yeah, I like that. A dog and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Michael.
That was a nice ceremony. Yeah, I liked the giant goblet they drank out of. I'm glad she didn't have a veil. Why? I just feel like the veil, the death do us part, it feels very haunted, very ghosty. I like ghosts. I'm actually very excited to be one. Ooh, when you die, where do you want to haunt? When I die? Yeah, when you're a ghost, where do you want to haunt? I guess I want to zoom over the ocean really fast. <laughs> really? Which, which part of the ocean? The whole ocean. I just want to zip around with my arms spread out. I don't want to haunt anyone in particular. Just the whole sea. Ah, scaring sea creatures and seagulls. Interesting choice. Where do you want to haunt? Well, if I die before you, I would want to haunt you. Are you going to try and scare me? Oh, I am, ooh, I am going to spill your coffee all the time just to remind you of me. You dead and no coffee. My worst nightmare. Oh, really? Is that your worst nightmare? Michael? Well? I honestly don't know what I'd do without coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Are we being weird right now? Doing what? Painting a painting together? Mm, painting a painting together in a public park while drinking wine. Mm, not at all. I'm sure a lot of famous artists did exactly this. And who knows, maybe in this very spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should probably get going. Holly's 4th of July parties are not to be missed. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, let's wrap this up. I just... What? I mean, I'm looking forward to the party, but... I, I don't want this to end. Me neither. Could we just not go, stay in the park, and keep painting? Yeah. I mean, this is like the best day I've ever had. Me too. Why end it just for some party? Let's not let this end. Text Holly. She'll understand. I love you, Michael. I love you, Kenzie. 